Welcome to a tutorial video on ChoiceScript. In this video I'm going to cover labels and subroutines. I'm going to start actually at the bottom of this startup file. And we see here using the label command a section of code with a name, house. And we see the code runs from 50 down to 59. This is what was previously in the scene house but is now in a label house using the label command. Down here at the bottom we see on lines 61 through 65 another use of the label command in this case with writing. Then we see the command on line 65 return. This is important because these are two different uses of label that correspond to how they're used with commands. So let's go back up the top and look at that. So remember we've defined two different sections here using the label command house and writing. In the second we're also using the command return on line 65. This is important. So we scroll back up the top and we see the same code we've been seeing across all of these videos. We've been building on this, we've been using text formatting, using variables, and building more things into this. Well, there's several new changes to this code. The first of which starts here on line 30 with the introduction of a new command, go sub. The go sub command goes to a subroutine. In ChoiceScript, a subroutine is some section with its own label that uses the return command. So we go to that thing and then we return from it. But in order to do that, that label, that section, has to have the return command. It also has to be called using the go sub command. So we use go sub to go to a subroutine. We use the command return to return from a subroutine. We also see on line 31 another use of go to scene. The command go to scene was introduced in a much earlier video as a way to go immediately to a scene, usually another file, that was outside our linear progression of our scene list. We could use the command go to scene to jump immediately to a file. But we see here two additional things added to it. It's not just go to scene, the command, to go to the scene startup. It's go to startup house. As we saw, we used the label house to define some section within startup. We can use go to scene to go to that label as if it were a scene, defining it, not only, defining it first by the file it's in and then it's named label. So we can use the command go to scene to go to the file and then additionally use the new label after that to go directly to that label. So let's see all of this in practice here. Over here on the right hand side we see the same things we've been looking at for a while now and our same three choices. The woods, the mountains, the lake. This time if we choose the woods we see this text right here and bold, I took notes on our surroundings. Well, that was in the writing label. So if we scroll back to the bottom of this code, we see using text formatting and bold, I took notes on our surroundings. Notice because this section, this label with writing, had, uses the return command, we can return from that use of the go sub command. So again, we went to a subroutine, we did something, and then we returned from it. And we see that right here. The text in bold, I took notes on our surrounding, coming from this right here. So we can use a label in this way as a subroutine if we include the return command and we call it using the go sub command. We also see another use of the label command in this case a section called house which we see the text of right here starting on line 50 through 59 as I discussed earlier and we see that right here right after this finally we arrived at the house and then we see with text formatting did we knock on the door and then we see the choice that's represented in this code starting on line 54 so if we scroll back up to the top 
we see both of these now used together. Go sub used to go to a section of the code defined using the label command, and go to underscore scene to go to some label as part of some file. Labels then, as a review, are used in these two different ways. We can define subroutines if we use the return command and we call it using go sub. We can go do something. We can include repeating text. For example, in this, no matter what outcome is chosen, it will always show I took notes on our surroundings. Because in each outcome of each choice is that go sub writing. So we can call labels within their files. And we can go to the subroutine, do something like I said, and return back to it. And in the second case, we can use go to underscore scene to go to some file, some scene, as well as a label defined within that file. As we saw in earlier parts of code and right here on line 38, we can go to scene, go to that file, and go to that label as well. These are two different ways that labels work within ChoiceScript. Thanks for watching.